In March, the New York State Department of Health suspended non-essential outpatient procedures statewide because of the COVID crisis. But that has been lifted in some parts of the state. And today, Bassett Healthcare Network says they're moving on to the next step, opening these types of procedures back up. Our Jen Selig has more. So from that starting point, we're moving forward and we are ramping up very aggressively right now. Otsego County hasn't seen a positive COVID-19 case in well over a week, so the hospital is moving forward with their elected outpatient procedures and surgeries. But when you do come to the facility, it's going to be a little bit different. There are safety measures in place that were not there before that will probably be there for some time. From the outside, staff will be checking everyone's temperature at the doors. And on the inside, the waiting rooms will look empty. All our staff will be in masks for the immediate future. Our patients will be in masks for the immediate future. And we have protocols in place that are essentially designed to ensure safety. Late last month, Governor Cuomo issued an executive order to allow elective surgeries to resume in many parts of upstate. And so right now, we are about 15% behind what we anticipated would be our situation in terms of total services to patients on the inpatient and outpatient service, with the exception of surgery, because elective surgery remains still a limited activity, and that is further behind. 15% may seem like a small percentage, but that's a big financial hit. That's millions of dollars of lost revenue. And some of that, as I mentioned earlier, is being addressed by the CARES grant and some of the federal activities supporting health care. So we are just reintroducing all our services in a slightly changed new environment, uh, but one that can offer all these services um, and with a sense of reassurance. Taking every effort to make sure patients and the community feel safe to come to the hospital if need be. In Cooperstown, Jen Seelig, Eyewitness News.